Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. So Tank Davis did an interview with uh, Ellie Setback yesterday, and I, I never, I never had, I never realized how much people really hate Devin Haney because Ellie Setback started off dissing Devin Haney, which <laughs> wow, um, and said that you know who lied and said that Tank that Devin Haney would beat you, even though Ryan Garcia popped dirty, but don't nobody care about that, right? So he ended up, uh, Tank ended up revealing himself. I can't remember if it was Ellie or another interview. It might have been with Ellie. But, well, he did say this with Ellie. He said he wants to fight Ryan Garcia again at 140. And he would give Ryan Garcia a 10-pound um, rehydration clause. Now, let's stop it right there. You'll fight Ryan Garcia at 140. But when it came to Devin Haney, you 135-pound fighter. That's number one. Number two, the reason why you are sticking up for Ryan Garcia is because you're trying to fight Ryan again to get a major payday. And this is my problem with boxing. This is why it's so cor corrupt. Because you got one one set. If that would have happened with Tank, Tank would be out there screaming bloody murder. He'd be out there crying foul. He cheated me and... The whole boxing, boxing, some boxing might have turned on Ryan Garcia, honestly. It would have been more people that support Tank Davis than Devin Haney. But we know we know why y'all secret a lot of people secretly hate Devin Haney and Bill Haney. But he said, Yeah, man, we can make it at 140. And and oh man, this is a conspiracy theory. They all out to get Ryan. Cause Tank know, he know he gonna have Ryan do some extensive um drug testing. Every because he know Ryan Garcia cheated, but he don't care that he cheated Devin Haney because he know Ryan might be clean against him. And, you know, if he can make another thirty million dollars fighting Ryan, he going to do it. And they also got the the. The excuse in there that Ryan was drained at one thirty five and that he'll be better at one forty. So it's a lot of it's a lot of politics and sneaky games going on. And I forget which boxing analyst said this, but they made a lot of sense. Ryan Garcia fans, they don't care about steroids. And this is the thing about the casual fans. A lot of them, they don't care. You know, and they in, in they mind, he was going to beat Devin Haney anyway. So whether he be juiced up or not juiced up, but, you know, we'll never know. But trust me, let him pop dirty with Tank and we see how quick people turn on him. But it all makes sense now, honestly. It all makes sense why he defended him because Tank Davis trying to get another payday. Honestly, and for y'all, and for those who think that it's a conspiracy, yeah, Ryan has duped y'all honestly into this whole Illuminati conspiracy theory thing. And it's funny how some of these same people, same people who look like me, they defend all the all the secret society stuff, but they don't even know who their great grandparents is. They don't even know their family tree. They walk right by their cousin and don't even realize who they are. But you got all, you know, all this information about secret society. Some of these people have never even read a book since becoming an adult. But they know all the tricks and tools about all of this. But Ryan know what he's doing, man. He's actually kind of smart because he knows how to tug at people's emotions or whatever. To where if he, if he, uh, if he go out there and lose, he can say it's a conspiracy. If they drug him, he can say it's a conspiracy. And he know that a lot of the simple minded people are going to fall for it. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.